Hi guys, hope everybody is doing well. Um, I am just getting over the flu, so I'm still a bit groggy, um, but uh, I was uh, I was not holding off anymore. I was like, I want to do a video, so um, nothing groundbreaking as always. You can always count on me for that, but just to show you a couple of decks that I brought a couple of weeks ago now. Um, I um, I bought these before I bought the um, the Akashic Tarot, um, but I just haven't got around to um, doing a video on them or really giving them too much love. Um, but yeah, no one's had any love the last week or so, to be completely honest with you, but I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. So, I bought these on eBay um, for £3.75 each, plus free delivery. However, I'm they are, I'm pretty sure you can find them anywhere quite cheap Watkins Books has one of them for like five pounds so and the works um apparently was doing one of them for 99p at one point they're no longer available but apparently that was the case um so I'm going to show you both because they're um low scarabeo so they are just like small ones so I'm just going to show you both um at the same time um I my knowledge on the subject of the oracle cards is very limited um that's kind of why I got them um, because I um, am very interested in um, Hinduism and Buddhism. That's the two decks. Um, um, so I was like, yeah, that'd be a great way to, you know, kind of start um, to get a bit more of an understanding of different um, religions, cultures, um, that sort of thing. So um, I'm going to start with the Hindu Oracle of Awakening because um, Hindu is totally my bag. I love Hinduism. So... These were published apparently at some point. I thought it said it probably says inside. So uh, this isn't the first oracle deck I've had from Los Gabriel. I did have the Angels and Saints, and I believe I gifted that to a friend. Um, if, I, if I remember rightly in my video, I did explain that the reason I bought it was because I'd lost out on something on eBay, and <laughs> I was like, I want to win something, and so I chose that and won that. So 2004 copyright. So. And instructions are, are by Helen Sultanini. Sultanini. Yeah, I'm probably not going to pronounce much of the names on these decks because I can't even I can butcher anyone's name. So you just get um, a tiny little pamphlet and it does have English, Italian, Spanish, French and German. Um, so you only get um, a, little, uh, a little intro, really. Um, so not much, you just literally get a tiny paragraph of start and then it goes straight into the card meanings. Um, the card meanings I'm going to take with a pinch of salt um, because I've already posted, uh, I did some, I did do a reading with this card for myself and um, what did I get? Danger. If you are freelancers, don't hire anyone or become partners with anyone. Avoid dangerous sports. You run the risk of small accidents. So I was like, what? No, <laughs> no thanks. Um, so yeah. So this this is the size of the card. Is it quite small? Very very cute. And the this is what they look like. They do have the um, different languages. Oh, we've got we've got some light coming in there. So let's try. Um, So that's what you get. You get the multiple languages and the, the roundness in the middle with the um, image. And I really like the images. Um, they do um, kind of repeat in both oracles slightly. Sorry, the light is pretty bad. I'd open up the blinds, but then it whited it out. So I was like, oh, can't do that. So you just bear with. So, yeah, we have. Um, let's see if I can get a bit closer. Sorry. So we have silence and then we have the round disc with what appears to be a fish. And they're all exactly the same in that sense. Um, obviously, that's, that's how the format is. I'm getting over the flu, leave me alone. Um, you know, power. But I am, I really do um, like the, the, the artwork. It reminds me um, a lot of the Egyptian decks from um, Los Carabio. I'm not entirely sure if the images will um, invoke much for me, but the words definitely will. 
when I got that danger card and I read what it said in the little book, I was like, really? Um, but I, I had I had a feeling I knew what it meant. Um, and I took that to heart. I took it to mean that I was in danger. Believe it or not, I just took it to mean that I'm in danger of being a bitch today. And I was. Um, because I was so unwell. And in, in rather than taking the day off work, I was like, I'll just struggle in. <sighs> and then I beat myself up because I was not as friendly as I could have been. But that was, you know, that's fine. But it happens to all of us. Um, so I'm only going to show you um, a few from the deck because, like I said, the images are very similar, um, just coloured differently. But I really do like it, and it's so small. Both of them are so small that they can come with me anywhere. Oh, let's do one more. Let's see if I can. Let's see if I've got a. Yeah, got destruction at six. <laughs> There'll be destruction at six. Mm, there you go. So the light doesn't overly do it justice, but we've got a dark top and going into a red bottom. Um, and then strong, strong but kind of muted colours, if that makes sense, in the circle. So it's that one. So I'm, I'm really pleased with it. I really like that one. And then the next one is the Kal Chakra Oracle cards. The Serenity of Buddha and the Mystic Hindu bring meditation and wisdom. So this one is going to require a little bit more homework. Um, because I think the cards have, um, like, deities on. I could be wrong, guys. I could be wrong. I'm just saying from what I'm looking at at the names, that's, that appears to be the case. Um, again, it comes with the same little book, um, also by Helena. Or Helen, or Helene. So, um, this very ancient system is based on the cosmic truths proclaimed by the historical Buddha. Um, then it gives his name, I'm not going to butcher it. The, the cards consist of a group of symbols and occult powers which help us overcome difficulties in life through their oracle. According to the ancients, through this system, each person is able to become aware of his or her own condition and at the same time is able to obtain valid advice for living more peacefully. Um, Kal Chakra belongs to Supreme Yoga and is nicknamed the Oracle of Universal Peace, towards which it ooh, towards which it would like to lead the entire world. So there you go. Sorry if I'm rumbling, and that was probably very boring. So and then it goes through. Um, so we've got J. I will show you some of the countries. J. Uh, the Goddess of Victory, and then you've got um, Siddhartha. The historical Buddha. So yeah, I, I think that I am right in saying, you know, gods, goddesses, deities. Um, Malaya, you have many possibilities, especially regarding love. You will experience an important relationship. Choose based not on rationality, but on the heart. Oh, that's nice. I like that one. So, again, the images are the same. Um, not the images. Um, I beg your pardon, the card sizes are the same and reversible as they were. And these are a little bit more vibrant, but again, there is um, a similarity in the artwork being repeated. But it's nearer the end that they start, because some of these are gorgeous. I mean, I love this one. Let me see if I can get in close. So... I really like that. But then on the next card, we have a very similar theme, just different colours and a different animal. So I feel like there could be like so much with this deck. You know, you can go by what the little book says to get you started or and then do the research. And there is one thing I love. It's a bit of research. So but the artwork, I, I just freaking love the artwork on both decks. Uh, it's a little bit more detailed, I think, on this deck, um, personally. Well, not personally, I think you can see that. But, yeah. And then we got, we got, <laughs> and then we have, do up, and then, alokes. So we have two red embodiments here. And then, yeah, we have yellows, greens, blues, um, all very 
all very similar. And there might be a reason for that. I mean, like I said, I, I, I only got them a week or so ago and I've just been too old to really do anything with them. But, uh... Oh, weather is a bit fierce today. Okay, and then we'll end on this one. There we go. So yeah, like I said, quite happy with both of these and they're going to require um, a little bit of homework, a little bit of research. You know, I love that sort of thing. So I was really pleased with them. Um, I was really pleased with the seller, actually. Um, really, really nice person. Um, my, only, my only gripe, my only gripe, and I'm not going to name him Jane, because <laughs> I'm but is that they said they sent it royal mail and they sent it hermes or hermes or however you want to say it which is fine normally but i got it delivered to work and if it's just in the postman's bag it just gets put in my slot but if it has to be delivered by a courier i have to be told it's there and if you have too many packages delivered they, they kind of notice so <laughs> i was like no but it was too late so um i would like to use um this person again because their their ebay shop is just so much goodness, but I don't know if I could risk another Hermes. Um, but anyway, um, since we're only uh, 10 minutes or 11 minutes in, I will show you the other deck I bought from the same seller while I'm at it, um, rather than making two videos because I haven't worked with them. So I haven't really got much to say, but it is the Chakra Wisdom Oracle cards. And these are by Tony Hartman, illustrated by Gretchen, Gretchen, mm -hmm. um, published by Watkins. Um, I have wanted this deck for a long time um, and I've always seen it. Oh, it's everywhere. Um, and I was like, I really do want that deck. I really like the artwork. Um, oh, it looks good. Um, but I never have. Um, and it was on one, it was on my list though, over the Christmas, you know, when I got the Kabbalistic Visions Tarot, when I said I made a list, this was on that list. Um, so um, yeah, Kabbalistic Visions, we're not getting on. It's a shame. Um, I don't like the guidebook, um, and the cards are massive, um, but I will try, I will try, because I do love, um, Scarpini, as you can see, you can probably see, I have, I have the moon up here from my medieval Scarpini, because it's missing four aces, and that's not why you're here, you're here for this, but anyway, um, so I started decorating my altar with the, the cards, um, so there we go, but the Chakra Wisdom Oracle cards, I love, and, um, such good condition, I pay, um, I'm pretty sure you back at you um, i'm pretty sure you can buy this pretty cheap and i got it for 6.99 um and it's open but it looks new if that makes sense got one of those pulley out boxes which is um the same it might even be by the same publisher but the um oh what is it called Do you know the the deck i've done a video of it somewhere where um you have different places around the world there's two because i'm pretty sure jimmy manton did one as well um but I gifted that to somebody. I hope they received it. Um, but anyway, I digress. Um, I know uh, a little bit about um, chakras. It is something that I um, would like to look into more. Um, really going to start looking this year at things that I can do to um, better me. Um, chakras would be one of them. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm not. Uh, I'm not committing anything anymore because um, I can't. I'm terrible for it. Or although I have just started um, going through some herbs and stuff and writing down their magical prefer preferences, what they do and stuff. So I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying that. And uh, did I tell you I made my own runes? That was fun. Um, so anyway, this is the book. I've digressed. Um, and I love the book. I think it's great. Um, so I've had a read. And they are colour coordinated to the chakras. Um, like I said, because I don't really know the chakra system, I can't really say whether or not I think that how she rolls is how I would roll. But anyway, so we have, you know, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and then the crown chakra we have as a, a beige kind of colour. And that's all explained in the book um, why it's here. Um, and I believe that Tony created this after she um, started receiving messages from angels after she almost died, which is like, whoa. Um, but yeah, let me just give you an indication of what you get. So when you come to a new um, colour, you have a bit on the orange. And then this is the, the information that you get on the cards. And if I'm not mistaken, all the cards have a meditation to go with them, which I think is just wonderful. Um but I am absolutely, I love, I really love the, I mean, look how 
beautiful that is because of all the different colours and things great. So the backs are amazing. I love the backs. The moving. Gretchen's done a fantastic job with the I just love that. Um and yeah. Um, I won't show you all the cards because I want to keep the video a bit short and sweet, but there are, um, I think, other videos out there that you can see these cards. Actually, I'm very surprised I never watched a video with these cards. I just knew from seeing the couple of images that I wanted them. And they are um, really good cardstock. Very shiny, but very good. So, And it's interesting because I, I tend to, um, not always, but I tend to like my tarot, my oracle, to be a bit more mystical or a bit like uh, earth based or past based I'm not really into the now and the future um you know personally I mean I have decks like that um and this one's very modern and I was quite surprised how much I liked it but there you go um yeah I'm sorry that my mem I have read the book I, I read that back to back as soon as I got it to be completely honest with you but uh, since then, the, the the flu has struck. I can't remember anything about it. So sorry about that. But I I really like it. I love the impasse card. Reminds me the artwork slightly of the Anna K Tarot. Just because I don't know. Just feels like this. Just I love this card so much. It re when I see this card every time I see this card, I just like it brings so many thoughts to the, the to the front of my mind. Uh, it's just uh, it's quite a powerful card personally. I love this one. This one's Passion with the Princess reading to the Elder. And I love that. They were, literally, every time I see a card, I get a different kind of little, ooh, ooh. It's great. Ooh, oh, shit, I'm banging this today. I'm sorry. So I really do love the car colours and the artwork, which is great, because if you're going to go for a chakra deck, you really want those colours to pop. And I think they do. I think they do. Trickery. This card, growth, um, it does <laughs> explain it in the book, but the image itself for me is really strange. It's like they're in a hospital and they're bits and pieces, like roots and leaves. But like I said, it explains it. So I paused it for a second. Um, but so basically the legend, and that's how they start. These are legends, which I think is... Grass is excited. He's ready to tell his best friend Weed that he is gay, but Weed reacts negatively, and it is the first of many judgmental encounters for Grass. For years, he is turned down for jobs, and even when he applies for an apartment, Grass fights for the right to live where he wants and wins. But soon after he moves into the new apartment, someone breaks in and attacks him. In hospital, his loved ones gather, sharing stories of Grass, of who Grass was, sorry, to them. He dies, leaving behind his legacy of love and courage. And then after the legacy, we have inspiration, personal inquiry, key ideas and key words. So Grass says, break away. It may be time for a change of scenery. Visit a foreign country, embark on a new enterprise or learn a skill. Most importantly, grow. I like the last bit, but from the story I'm given in the legend, um, you know, which shows a lot of um, anger from Weed's point of view and the struggle um, from Grass um, having to deal with society's view um, on him because... Um, you know, he loves who he loves, and he is what he is, um, and he, he is his, he is who he is, sorry, that sounded rude, I didn't mean it like that, um, you know, growth just doesn't quite personally for me fit with, um, that, it makes sense, I get what she's saying, but for me it just doesn't kind of fit with the story, growth, I don't think, gra I don't think grass was the problem, just, just saying, um, destiny, Sorry, I really went off on a tangent there. <laughs> I didn't realise that bugged me as much as it did, but there you go. Instinct. Oof, I do love some animals. Abundance. This is a weird card as well, but I won't bore you with another one. But it's fine. Um, like I said, I really did enjoy the book, that, uh, you know, but I don't completely um, gel with all of it, which is fine. Um, as you know, I've mentioned, I don't gel with all the books, but the artwork and the words kind of really do just kind of stir a little something, which um, I like. Um, you know, you don't, I don't have to use the book, um, which is great. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited to use it. I haven't really used it yet, like I said. Rejection, I really love this card. I absolutely love this card. I 
I feel so much of this, um, especially, and uh, maybe some of you guys do, like with your um, like your t- channels or your blogs and stuff. Uh, my blog's still private. No one can find it because I'm just like, I'm not ready. I'm not ready for this reason. Do you know what I mean? I mean, it's a big step, I think, putting yourself out there. And, you know, I, I hate for, you know, people to not do what they love because they're fearing a rejection. Uh, let's see if I can find a couple more. Renewal's a lovely card. I think that's a beautiful card. And then we will end on, I think this is my favourite card in the whole deck. Well, this is a sad card. I'll show you this sad card first, but please bear in warn, it is sad. Okay, so look away now. I'm going for it. Her puppy burst away. Her dog. I, I call all dogs puppies, regardless if they are a puppy or not. Um, this card's a bit heartbreaking. It's rather sad as well if you read the book. Being complacent all your life and then regretting it when you're older. <laughs> I don't like that. But anyway, my favourite image of the whole day. I'm pretty sure I used to do that. I used to show you my favourite and my least favourite cards. I should do that again. That was much more fun. Ooh. Creation. This card is everything. I love this card so much. So there you go, guys. Just a, a quick rundown of a couple of um, couple, couple, three. Sorry, um, the three oracle decks that I've gotten um, more recently. Um, but I'm doing really well. We're in March, and I've bought four decks. I four decks in three months. I mean, come on, that's amazing. For me, anyway. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching, as always. Um, I hope you all um, I'll stay well and um, and all that jazz. Um, feel free to leave a comment. I love comments. Um, and yeah, I'm sh- I'm I'm sure I'll be back again soon with another deck. You know. Anyway, take care, guys, and I'll speak to you soon.